I'm going the right way here. Where am I? Right up there? Alright. Okay, so I'm facing this direction. Be me. That's where I just came from. I obviously can't head left, which would be down that way. me. We'll just backtrack a little bit and see what I can find. Oh, what's this over here? Yeah, this was the way that I came for these guys that I have to somehow dislodge. be able to get up there. Up or down, up or down, up or down. I guess up. Oh, where are you guys at? Oh, you're jamming me. That was easy. This one's going to be a bit troublesome. Test samples were due to arrive three days ago. We haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Notacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events back to us. Damn! Rude. Anything with that? Nothing over that way. Okay, okay. I guess it's up. I fear we do not have the needed gear to destroy this claw. We will have to keep looking. Hey guys. Green health bars indicate poison toxin, which prevents healing. Good against Krogan. Ooh, okay. Liara has radioactive mod on her gun, which is triggering it. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, Jesus. Take that thing out immediately. Creepy as hell. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Some sort of 
Did you say target not acquired? Go team. Negative contact. Catching you up. Hmm. Oh. Nope, doing that again. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out of if this gets out before we've developed an, an an antidote, it's just not smart. They won't tell us what they want samples for or why they want them delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. Well, we're gonna go there here in a bit, that's for certainly gonna happen. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if PSI is 30 or lower, and the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough force, enough power to shear through metal. Well then. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. I have to get it between 31 and 34. Just having a quick look see around here. Shit. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna get that here in a second, but I wanna know what it's cutting right now. What is it going to do? Let's have a look. Geth terminal, hard decryption. Wasn't that hard. According to data retrieved from this console, the Geth are preparing for a major offensive in Citadel space. If this information is accurate, they are amassing a significant force somewhere in the Armstrong Nebula. That's definitely good to know. Damn it. So I'm assuming that once I get this right, it's gonna slam down the doors or whatever, and that's gonna cut off the claws to the ship, I assume. I'm not doing any addition, by the way. I'm literally just guessing. Before I get called out for not being able to do simple math, I'm not trying to. Got it. Yep. Math is hard, this is a fact.
Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll <laughs> fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Cool. As in other words, keep on me, you guys. Don't get glitched again. Don't stay in doorways. Alright. I've already been out there. So yeah, we gotta go back this way. Math is indeed difficult. I'm not looking to do no quick math in my head. I have a calculator for that, but I don't want to pull my phone out. Shepard knows about the glitch. Nice. <laughs> of course he knows about it. He's not looking forward to defeating all these things all by himself anymore. Oh, yeah, this is the right way. Actually, is this the right way? Hold on. No, it's over here. I gotta go. Actually, wait, was it here? I'll turn around. So if we start over here. Let's just go and solve this whole issue and give myself a waypoint on the map. They're there for a reason, Ian. You gotta use gotta use what's there for a reason. Here we go. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. Where's the Thorian? The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Get rid of that off our mini-map. Uh, drop down. Oh, I know where I'm at. I think. Yeah, I know where I'm at. Okay, I got you. I'm tracking. Couldn't tell you that I know which way to go. I've already been over there, haven't I? Over there? Yeah, I have. Okay. Nothing else is over there. I've looked, so we're going to head down that way. My beautiful Mako.
Got him. Got him, coach. I love it that you can zoom in on this thing. your mom, wasn't it? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. Hold on just a moment, y'all. Okay, we good. going girl I'm back you can't do this John everyone shut up uh, let me think what's going on you won't get away with this get her out of here get away from her you son of a bitch Lisbeth Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Oh, Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope that Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. Damn. That's rude. Holy shit. What do you think you're doing, John? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's going to miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's got to be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. That guy is such a jerk. I don't mind not having enough Paragon Renegade to defuse the situation. Shooting him is more fun. It was very exciting. It really was. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Okay, sure. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. Okay. Your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Cool, let's go have a look. Equipment. Okay. 
right there. go there it is there's something better very nice do a hard save real quick did I gain level again oh I did baby let's go what level am I level 14 what do I want you know what? I'm one point away from that, so let's just 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 do that. I do like the sniper rifles. I should probably go up in pistols. I like the pistols more. I'm gonna go with the pistols. Two points for you this time. Barrier and then Garrus. Go up in you. And first A. Yep. Yep, shooting that guy in the face was definitely, uh, it felt good. That dude was kind of a massive dick, so I don't feel bad shooting him in the face. Oh man, come on now. Alley you This was not like this before. Hi guys. How are we doing today? And you did. sick out of the way Infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. Okay. 16 colonists alive? Okay. This is going to get difficult right about now. I'm gonna do a quick save because I am I am not above save scumming. I am just gonna I'm just gonna say it now. Okay then. Enemy sighted. Why? You can also use your melee attack to knock out the colonists. That's good to know. I will 
kill all the creepers. Uh, those are obviously the colonists up there. What's happening here? Did I miss one? Alright y'all, let's roll. Get in here. Fire in the hole! <laughs> That's funner just to knock him out. Go and just take a take a bit of a breather. Let my shield get up. Now it gets fun. Got to move one of those cargo blocks. Okay, well, we'll do that. Just hold on. Got that. now. Controls are too complex and delicate to operate while in combat. Still in combat? There we go. I tried to find it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't! I won't! Uh, a colonist just died, so that should say 15 colonists now. I'm just saying. Continuity game! But for real, man, damn. Wait, where am I going now? 
Still showing the quest right here. I don't understand why it's still showing. I have a quest right here. Can't do anything. A door opened up right by the console. Gotcha. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice. 32 Paragon. I saved them all. I should get a damn achievement for that. I feel duped. Do a quick save after that one. That was good. <laughs> I'm sitting here shouting, Look left! Look left! <laughs> Without your assist on that, that actually would have taken me way longer than it should have. What the fuck is that? All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what... What it... That is... Disturbing. <clears throat> Nothing's ever simple, is it? Ew. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Okay, this is interesting as hell. I'll destroy you! No, not doing that. Uh... You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh barely given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground with a new growth. Well, that escalated quickly. Don't say. Perimeter secured. That 
had the desired effect, I believe. A few more and it will be severely hurt. Look at this thing. Remember that comment I said to where I've seen enough hand tied to know where this is going? Well, I've seen enough hand tied to know where this is going. Hi! Fine, be that way. Oh. Damn, how many of you assholes are there? Oh, come on, pop up already. I know you motherfuckers are about to pop up. Go ahead and get in there. There you go. Very nice. Good teamwork. All targets down. Very nice. Let's keep heading up. Disgusting. Oh, that's them, isn't it? Finally, some action. What do you mean, finally? You hear what that bitch said? Finally, some action? Finally, some action shield. Get out of here. Perimeter secured. Oh, damn. I wish I had grenades. That's disgusting. I want it gone. I don't want to see it anymore. Ew. Target not acquired. Got him. Got him, coach. Don't I have, like, another skill here for pistol? Yeah. I'm gonna try that. I do like the pistols. I'm, I'm just gonna flat out say it. I do like them. Even though they attack like really slow, I still like them. Thought I was gonna make that. There we go. 
This is a really hard section on the high difficulty levels. Enemies do a lot more damage. I imagine they do. I imagine that they do. Absolutely. Hi, guys. Some of these other things you guys can do. I want to see that. That was definitely a waste. Thorian note, there he is. Bitch, you walked right into me. Always going down. Let me help you. Hold on. Like, slight music in the background, it almost seems like. Is there friendly fire? Okay, good, no. All targets eliminated. At least not on this difficulty setting, there's not friendly fire. Oh god, yeah, there's probably friendly fire on higher difficulty settings, isn't there? Probably is. You at? Yo. Sorry, clone man. No, there's no friendly fire. There's enemy friendly fire. They can hit their own guys with rockets and explosions, but there's no actual friendly fire. I like that. So I know in Dragon Age Origins, I never used like any of the awesome like mage spells because friendly fire my first time. friend.
I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Ew. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Jesus. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the Cypher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. Are you alright? What just happened? That is a hard thing to describe, what just happened. It's pretty freaking awesome. I saw... something. 
It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. Holy shit. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. That was awesome. That is yet another time where this game has given me a little bit of a goosebumps, you know what I'm saying? Damn. That's cool as shit. Tell me more about this ship Saren has. Sovereign is alien. I do not know how it was built or where it comes from. Its design does not match that of any known spacefaring species. It dwarfs any vessel in the Citadel or Alliance fleets. Its weapons are devastating. Its defenses virtually impenetrable. With it, Saren believes he is unstoppable. You said Saren uses it to manipulate his followers. The indoctrination. There is an energy about Sovereign. You feel drawn to the ship. It makes Saren's arguments more persuasive, more compelling. Spend enough time in Sovereign's presence and you will lose yourself. There is no other way to explain it. I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic. And he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he is leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. That was weird. It'll be tough going, but we'll make this a home. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. We'll start over. What else?
Kowalski. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. Awesome. Holy crap balls. A lot. Damn. That was really cool. Like, all of that was a really cool quest. I have one final thing that I would like to go do. I gotta go check on my boy Ian. I gotta go down there and find him. Make sure that bro Sip is alright. If he's even down here anymore. Should be relatively quick. There's no geth remaining here, so we should be alright. You've lost track of the number of times you've killed Alistar with a fireball. <laughs> You're not wrong. I remember, because my very first character in Dragon Age was definitely a mage. And uh, I always wanted to use like the flame fingers, the cone of cold, and blizzards, and earthquakes, and all that jazz. But it was like, I can't do it. I will end up killing my entire party. But I think I went with the Arcane Warrior. I just kind of went in close range and... Smashed my face across the keyboard because that's how easy it was. I think he's down here a ways. I can't remember if he was right here or further down. I think he was further down. Yep, not here anymore. There is a Salarian shopkeeper I think you missed back in the commune. He sometimes has different stuff. Oh, I'll definitely have a look then, that's for sure. Let's head back there and we'll have a look. I guess my boy Ian is probably back there as well. You don't remember seeing Ian anywhere? Aww. Makes me sad. That would be really awesome to be able to talk to him again. Except without the massive amount of pain in his head. do wish he could run faster. Uh, so there's Liz, Juliana, there's Gavin. Sure, refugees, refugees.
Ledra, let's have a chat with you. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay and try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Holy crap. Oh, I want this. I want the license. Yeah, I'm going to go back really quick. My equipment. I'm gonna do a quick run through on my equipment here. I'm gonna junk a bunch of it, but I'm not going to. Well, I might as well equip that. I know I don't use shotguns very much, but I'll equip it. I'm not gonna junk it all. I'm actually gonna sell it all back to him. Let's see how much money that gets me. I like that. And then I'm probably going to buy that pistol or that assault rifle that he had. I really liked those. Those were nice. Horse armor. You. Save that armor. Get rid of that armor. Get rid of you. Oh, that looks dope. So we go back from there. Let's have a little chatty chat with Greetings. him again. What can I do for you? Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Not bad. Okay. Really nice. Very nice. I like that one a lot. Go ahead and use you. Garrus. Can use you. Dope. There we go. And I gained some levels too, so let's go ahead and go take care of that real quick. 
shotgun's unlocked. Not like I'm actually going to ever use it, because I'm probably not. First aid, maybe. Yep. Maximizing that. Assault training. Armor. We have four points. I like that. Hell yeah. Logs mentioned something about a Matano system. Okay, we'll be doing that at some point. And in the Vostok system, we'll be doing that one as well. So the only main one I have now is to go to Novaria. Very nice. But I... Uh... See if I can find Ian in here real quick. That's my boy. He's okay. Oh, I like it. Shopkeepers change your inventory when you level up. Nice. Very nice. But I'm actually going to go ahead and end the stream right here, you guys. I uh, definitely need to definitely need to get something to eat. That's that's for sure. Squad mate should have new things to say back on the Normandy after completing the story missions. Okay. Well, the next time I'm online to stream, that's probably going to be the first thing I end up doing. But yeah, I'm going to call it right here, you guys. Thank you so much for showing up and being a part of the stream. I greatly appreciate you. Appreciate the chat and appreciate the tips and hints. Definitely enjoyed that. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, then thank you for joining me and clicking the video. Leave a like down below, leave me a comment, tell me what you all think, and also please hit that subscribe if you guys like what I'm doing here. There's going to be a whole heck of a lot more streams coming up as I'm going to be doing all three Mass Effect games, but I'm also doing a lot of other games, and you know what? I'm not going to stop. I enjoy doing it, so uh, until next time, I hope every single one of you guys out there has a wonderful day. I never